Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make sugared or candied cranberries. This is another holiday dish. It's a great snack to have around the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I love fresh cranberries and I love the sugared kind. Really easy to do, simple ingredients, only three ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. Begin with cranberries. This is 12 ounces or 340 grams of cranberries. And then I have a cup of water and a cup, a cup of sugar here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start by making a little bit of a simple syrup. So I have a pot here, I'm gonna add in the sugar and the water, that's one cup of sugar, one cup of water. And now over to the stove top we go. And here on the stove top burner, I have the heat set to medium. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna heat this up and just until we dissolve that sugar, that's all we want to do. We don't need to bring this to a boil or anything. We actually don't want it incredibly hot because we don't want to split those cranberries. We only wanna coat the cranberries in the simple syrup. This will just take a couple minutes to dissolve. I'm actually gonna switch over to this slotted spoon because this will come in handy a little bit later. So just kind of come in here and stir a little bit as that water heats up. All right, and once it's all clear and the sugar has dissolved, we can turn off this heat. And now I'm gonna take that syrup and I'm gonna pour this on here all over these cranberries. Super easy. And then we just want to get these all nice and coated really well. And then I'm gonna take it. So this is how the, why the slide of the spoon comes in handy. We'll take it, let it drain, and then put these, lay them out on a sheet pan with a, a wire rack. This is, that way we can get these to dry. And I just use the sheet pan so it catches the drippings. And what's gonna happen is as these dry, the simple syrup is gonna get sticky on the outside of these cranberries, and that's what the sugar is gonna to stick to. Some people will even soak the cranberries in that simple syrup overnight. And you can certainly do that if you like. So here we go, and now we're just gonna let these dry for about an hour, hour and a half, all right? And then we'll do the next step. Once these have had a chance to dry, I'm going to take a, another bowl, and I have about a cup of sugar in here as well. And then I'm gonna take these cranberries and we're gonna go in here with them. And then what you can do also, if you have like a lid to your bowl, we can put that on there. Or you could also just put it in like a Ziploc bag, the sugar and berries and just shake them around. But I have a nice lid to this. I'm gonna put that on there. Yeah, and look at that. Awesome. And I'm just gonna come in here again. But that's how you want them to look like that. And now we want them to dry again, so I'm just gonna put them back here on this wire rack. And you could use less sugar. You could get away with using like a half a cup of sugar. Like you, you'll you notice, it. there's a lot of this sugar left. And you could save this sugar and use it for something else because it's kind of got like a little cranberry uh, hint of flavor to it. And there we go. We're going to let these sit here for another about an hour and then they'll be ready to eat on to that step. And once the sugar has had time to dry a little bit on the outside, they are ready to go. Super easy to do. These sugar cranberries are awesome. I'll give it a taste. So good. The sugar on the outside kind of cuts through the tartness of the cranberry and just makes it an awesome snack. If I can do it, you can do it. 
I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this some more. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm.